guys and welcome. So today is day seven, I believe, of the no sugar diet. So yes, I have had some small cheats and so many temptations. So, so many temptations. I am starting to ease up more on my diets, but unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse. So yesterday I had no hives, none whatsoever, and then Today, I have hives all over, and yesterday I was pretty good about keeping clean. I think the only thing I had that maybe had some sugar in it was I had a bowl of strawberries, and then I had a, like, five organic animal crackers from Trader Joe's, which if you guys haven't had those, they're, like, delicious. I love them. They're so good. Um, but, yeah, so it's been really tough like I was covered in hives super lethargic super tired now I keep going through these different energy phases and I do think that it is related to the no eating of sugar and I do get shaky like at least once a night so I will put a picture of my hive somewhere in here um, so you can see that all of a sudden my hives got worse especially since Yesterday, I had none on my body. It was, like, such a good day. I was, like, feeling it. I was, like, really excited, hoping that I was making progress. But then today, it took a turn for the worse. So, they're not uber, uber bad, but they are much worse than before. Now, that same... So, last night, because I had no hives yesterday, last night, I tried to lower my dosage of prednisone, but I only did that by 2 milligrams. So, I went from about 10 to 8 milligrams... Um, tonight I will be back up in my milligrams. I will try and eat no strawberries because I wonder if that's what did it to me. Definitely no animal crackers. This morning, the between hives and your lunar cycle, like, sugar is needed. I haven't had potatoes. I feel like I haven't had very much of substancey foods lately, and so I feel like I've kind of been cheating in that way. And I also had, like, a couple of these Cheez-It crackers, but not plain Cheez-Its. They were the snapped ones, which I was not expecting. I went to Costco, so excited. I love going to Costco, and I feel like the only thing that I could get there was cucumbers. My mom and my little brother were in the car with me, and they were eating, like, pizza, and they got all these pastries and all this fun stuff, and I'm just, like, walking to the cart with my little wimpity bag of cucumbers, and that's, that, that was my highlight of my, my diet yesterday was my, my bag of cucumbers, so quite sad guys but it's okay so yes I did have strawberries and I will stop that the strawberries are really good right now they are in season so if you haven't been eating strawberries recently now is the time because they are delicious um so aside from that yesterday for breakfast I had a what did I have I think I had a smoothie, and the smoothie would just be green guava, kale, um, a little bit of green apple, water, chia seeds, cucumber, and I think that's really it. That's And then for snack, I had those couple of Cheez-Its. For lunch, what did I have? I had... I was at Costco during lunch, so I kind of skipped lunch, but I had one chicken wing. And then for dinner, I had three chicken wings, salmon, lemon, basil, salmon with quinoa, and um, Brussels sprout mushroom dish that was like with spicy mustard. It was actually quite delicious, so I'll put a link to the recipe down below. The salmon was eh, meh, all right, like. But I can't use very many things, so it was just salt, pepper, lemon, and basil. So it wasn't bad. And then today I ate for breakfast. I had a bite of my boyfriend's bagel. Then I had um, a little bit of green guava. And then I went for a run, so that was kind of that. And then I, it's only 11.30 right now, so for lunch... I'll do a chicken burger from Trader Joe's, just that with some zaug, which is a cilantro spicy sauce. And then I will, for dinner, I am doing a pesto chicken, a pesto Hasselback chicken. So I can't have tomatoes, but in other people's, I will slice holes in it, marinate the chicken in the pesto for a while, some salt, some pepper. So then I will slice the little slices in them, I guess. 
you shove that with tomato, a piece of cheese, and a basil leaf, and you do that at least three times on a big chicken breast. Um, mine will just have basil inside the slots and some cheese, and then I topped it off with just a tiny bit of cheese. Like, I typically don't eat cheese. Oh, for breakfast, I also had salted nuts. So, I typically do not eat cheese, but since I've started this diet, I have been eating more cheese just because I feel like there's not very many things where I can get any kind of sustenance and cheese I feel like is a heartier kind of food um, and it's rich which is nice because like I said the lunar cycle prendazone prendazone makes me hungrier so I want to eat like last night I felt like I was like itching like a fiend like I wanted sugar so badly and even this morning guys I gave in a little bit put a starburst in my mouth I chewed it twice and then I felt guilty for it so I spit it back out but that tastes stays in my heart with me forever because damn it was good it was like so good but you know I, I've been kind of deprived for the last couple of days and I usually eat very healthy in general so I don't really know why I feel like a lot has switched and maybe it's just that because of my sugar cravings I feel like I'm not satisfied because I typically eat salads and lean protein for pretty much all my meals anyways and like eggs so I am very clean of an eater, except for at nighttime when I eat Cheez-Its and candy. Like, that, those are my kryptonite, and chicken wings are my kryptonite. But I usually spread those out over three days. Like, I'll eat three chicken wings with my meal, you know, just to keep it a treat for multiple days. So, guys, like I said, I will be commenting down below with vegetables that you should eat, vegetables to avoid, fruits, same thing, and what I ate yesterday and what I will be eating today will be in tomorrow's video. So I'm really crossing my fingers that this might have just been strawberries or something. I don't know what it was because literally my hives were getting better like two days ago. Now I'm still not getting that hot flushed feeling that I typically get before my hives come on. So my hives, when this morning when I woke up, I was like, oh, maybe I'll have no hives again. I got out of bed and when I got out of bed, I was instantly itchy and they were all over my, all over in general. They were just all over. So it was a really demotivating day. I was super tired. I ended up going for a run this morning, which helped wake me back up. But I was like, I did not want to get out of bed. I was just, something in me just wasn't, didn't feel right. And so I'm going to continue on hoping, I just spit, but sorry guys, hoping that this will take a turn for the best and work out in my favor. Now, like I said before, I am in the process of looking for doctors who could possibly do FMT, which is a fecal matter transplant. And there's another doctor that I'm looking at called Spinagle. He is in Florida. It is a 12 to 16 week program. And that's why I am cranking this out so hard because I really want to figure it out so I don't have to go live on the outskirts of Tampa for 12 to 16 weeks because that sounds awful, especially during hurricane season and God knows I need my gym, and outside of Tampa just doesn't sound very appealing to me for some reason, so, and going to the doctor. So he does do um, IV therapy, but a lot of people have seen great um, improvement with him, and it's not even specifically for chronic hives. He's not a chronic hives doctor. What he is is he does autoimmune stuff, gut stuff, like it's all kind of intertwined. He does like Lyme's disease, uh, chronic fatigue. So it's it's all intertwined. So we'll see how it goes. I'm really hoping to get the FMT done before that. So maybe that will solve both my gastro as well as my autoimmune issues because I do think they're interrelated. Now I have ordered a, a, a stool testing kit from Flore or Flora. Um, it's about $200. You can use a promo code. I will put a link to their website below. So if you do have chronic hives, it is very interesting to see which bacteria in your gut are working well for you and which aren't or how much of each bacteria you have in your gut. And that's what I'll be doing. So I will be, I bought multiple tests to test different people's stools. Um, I know their pre-existing conditions. I know their eating habits. I know their diet. So it's like, I know what they put into their body. 
And so I will be testing theirs in comparison with mine. And what I will be doing is creating an Excel sheet of all of the different bacteria that it tests for and what is an average or normal range for those different kinds of bacteria. So I can pinpoint which ones of mine are out of control. And then from there, I can research what is what causes this bacteria to get out of control and then I will hopefully shift my diet to kind of help manage or regulate that. I really, like I said, I don't eat anything in excess except for probably kale, spinach, um, arugula, candy, and Cheez-Its. Those are my excessive excessive eating things. And last night I ate like a whole bag of popcorn again because I was like itching. Like I am on the verge of a breaking point. I need sugar. So guys, if you liked my video, make sure to leave a comment below or just comment in general. If you do suffer from chronic hives, it would be great to hear your story. It'd be great to hear what you're going through. Um, I would love to do a collaboration with you guys just to see, you know, if there's any parallels between what we are suffering from. So comment below, like the video, subscribe, click the notifications button. Like I said, I am putting these videos out each day and that is to help you as well as me solve this awful condition of chronic idiopathic urticaria or chronic idi urticaria. So let's see how it goes, guys, crossing my fingers. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out.